So what do you think the number one skill that every salesperson needs to have, right? Like think about it, like stop for a second and think with me. If there was one thing that you need to be really good at as a salesperson, what would it be? Okay, I just interviewed Brian Tracy not too long ago. Um, I've heard Cardone say it. Uh, I've heard other, other big time salespeople. I've heard Zig Ziglar say it years ago on videos, right? But when I was interviewing Brian Tracy, he said there's, number, there's one thing that every salesperson has to have. I have it, okay? The question is, do you? The skill is being able to close the deal, being able to get some over the finish line, okay? Which is why I'm doing a closing secrets workshop for two hours for only $37. Here in a couple days, links in the description. Make sure you do sign up for that. Okay, I've got a gift of getting people over the finish line, getting people to buy something immediately, getting someone to take action. I'm curious, do you have that skill? Can you get someone from "I'm interested" or "Hi, my name's Cody" to "Thank you for your business. Welcome to the family." Can you do that? Do you have that skill, right, Lynn? Someone says, "Hey, dude, I want to think about it." What do you say? I want to call you back. What do you say? I don't want to do it now. What do you say? I'm just shopping today. Ooh, one of my favorites. What do you say? These things are going to happen in your business every single day. You have to be able to handle those because there's going to come a point where you're proposing a $1,000 a month policy, $10,000 a month policy. I was just with an agent earlier that I was doing a coaching session with. He just proposed a $200,000 premium life insurance policy for one sale. So maybe the 37 bucks and attending the workshop's worth it because if it makes you more than $37 because you get one extra sell or you just get a little bit of freaking confidence, then a little bit of money is always worth investing in you, correct? Like the most valuable asset on the planet is you, okay? Like there's no one more valuable, there's no more valuable asset than you. And the moment you get really good, everything starts getting good around you. Like I always talk about change, like everybody, everybody wants everything to change. Do you want your sales skill to change? Because for your sales skill to change and your revenue to change and your money in your bank to change, you got to change, right? So I believe, and that's proven time and time again, your ability to get someone to do business with you today, right now, is extremely, 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 extremely important. Do you have that skill, right? When someone's saying that they're at the end, how are you proposing the options that you're proposing? How many options are you actually proposing? What type of product are you selling? How are you getting people across the finish line? And how are you getting people to do it today instead of tomorrow, right? Like time kills all deals. I hate it when someone's like, dude, I, I, I want to think about this and follow up with me later. Shoot me an email. Like they're even going to read the email. Like, come on. I like to get people to do it now. What do you like? Okay, I don't like people to wait. I'm going to share seven different secrets that I use in this Closing Secrets workshop on Saturday. Again, the link's in the description to sign up, okay? Or it's CodyAskins.com forward slash closing, by the way, okay? Very simple. And in that workshop, I'm gonna actually break down exactly the steps to the close. Once you get there, the actual verbiage that I use, I'm gonna share some specific stories about how I had clients years ago that said, I wanna think about it. I don't wanna do it. I remember being in Niangua, Missouri, proposing a $300 a month policy to a lady named Mary. I was with a veteran agent and she said, this is a big decision, let me think about it. And I'm sitting across the table from this veteran agent and he is about to speak up. I jump in, why? Because I had been training on this. I had been listening to Brian Tracy. My moment has arised, I, it's my time to show off a little bit. So I jump in and I'm gonna share with you exactly what I said and what I did. And then that's worth $3,700, just that one phrase, right? And, and that one phrase I've taught to hundreds, if not thousands of other agents, and they've used it and reported back to me and said, holy freak, that worked. But you don't know what it is yet. And I'm gonna make sure that you are in the know and that you know by showing up to the Closing Secrets Workshop. Because if there's one thing I do know, it's that knowledge is power. And the more you know, the, the more in the know you are, the more successful you will be by knowing and needing to know what the stuff that you need to know. So the question is, on a scale of one to 10, on a, from, a, from closing, 
right? So you're at the end of the cell and it's time to freaking close. Time to get them to sign on the line which is dotted, as Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross says. Boom, you get to the end. What do you do? How likely are you to get them to pull the trigger on a scale of one to 10? Ask yourself that right now. Will I get them to buy? If you're any less than a nine, you need to hit the link and grab the workshop for 37 bucks, right? I'm making it impossible and irresistible, impossible for people to fail by giving stuff away for as little as possible, right? Like we do four week mentorship programs for $88 all the time. Why? Because I want to see you win. I want you to look back and, 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 and be so freaking successful and have so much money and your life is so abundant and you look back and say, dude, that Cody dude was a small piece of my success, right? Like that's what, that's why I love what I do. Like I got an email from an agent in literally another country, Trinidad and I don't know, Dylan, if it's, it's Trinidad and Tobago, Trinidad and Tobago. I don't know, but that's what it's called. And I got an email from an agent saying, dude, I watch all your videos. Your training is unbelievable. And it's changed the game in my business. And I'm like, holy freak. Like that is why I do what I do. There's a passion there. And that fills me up. That makes me feel good, okay? Are you passionate about closing deals? Do you have the knowledge to close the deals? Do you have the verbiage? Do you have the phrases? Do you have the steps? Do you know the secrets? I'm gonna make sure that I deliver those on Saturday because I love helping people buy. It's really funny too, okay? You'll love this. It's crazy, but it's true. Every, a lot of people will say, I'm not doing it today right? I'm just shopping. I'm not doing it today. Cody, I'm not buying. I'm just gathering information, whatever that stuff means. And then later you sell them. They buy on the first appointment when they said they weren't going to. And then after they purchase, they then turn around and thank you for helping them do something that they didn't plan on doing. Does that make any sense? That also means that people don't know and they don't mean what they're thinking about when they're actually in the zone, or they just naturally say those things because that's what people do and say when they're thinking about doing business with you. People like to think about stuff. People want pe people are maybe thinking about doing business later or think about buying or whatever. I'm telling you, people have some level of interest and people like to buy. End of story. Okay, nobody actually wants to think about it. When they want to think about it, there's typically two reasons. I'm going to share them on the workshop, but I'll give you a little taste right now. Okay, because if you love this, you'll love the whole workshop. There's two things. When someone wants to think about it, there's typically two reasons why. Either they don't see the value and they don't actually want to own the product or it's financially related, right? So they, they, maybe they don't trust you or they don't want it or, or they don't see the need or they're not sure on the money piece. I ask that kind of stuff too, right? Because I believe in losing the sale on my own terms. What do you believe? And I want you to look back on Saturday and say, holy crap. And if you're seeing this later, right, then go to CodyAskins.com. We have events going on all the time to help you be a master of the art of your craft, as Will Smith says. Being a master at closing the deal. I'm telling you, if there is one thing that you can get great at, if there's one thing that you can absolutely slay, and if there's one thing that you can master, it's closing. It's closing. Like you can fill your pipeline all you want, but if you can't get people through the flipping bottom of the pipe and the funnel and you can't close them now, then it doesn't matter. And all that extra work is for nothing. Okay. I learned at 20 years old, I'm a master closer. I'm phenomenal at building relationships, overcoming objections, and freaking getting people to sign with me and buy today. Why? Because I believe... Okay, in closing, I believe that you sell how you buy. You'll learn this on the workshop, by the way. You sell how you buy. If you buy slow, you'll sell slow. If you buy fast, you'll sell fast. Think about that for a second. How do you currently buy? I buy freaking quick. I don't even think about it. So I, 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 buy home, I buy homes first time I see them. Cars without even seeing them. Why? Because I, I, I buy how I sell and I sell how I buy. I expect people to make decisions immediately right now. Like I expect you to get to the freaking workshop on Saturday right now. Why? Because that's what I would do. Okay. So you will start to learn that you specifically sell how you buy.
Hey, if you love this video, you're gonna love, okay, I got behind the scenes with Jordan Belfort at our conference about how he can help new agents and what he would do if he was you. Check that video out. You have to get them into the habit of dialing or out. It's gotta be top of the funnel. People are scared to dial the phone, scared to go to...